pie tort lightning. It's all new and shiny. All cool people use it. But don't let that trick you. So what is PyTorch Lightning or PL or PO? I'm not calling it PO. PyTorch I mean too mouthful. Now PyTorch is a very popular Python framework for training deep learning model. And PO is a PyTorch lightweight wrapper for high performance AI research. If TensorFlow has carried at a high level API, then PO is an equivalent but for PyTorch. PO only really last year and it's getting very popular recently. So what's cool about it? And why would you not use it? Let's look at an example. This is how you train almost any deep learning model in PyTorch. First, you define the task in the dataset, then you create the model and optimizer. Then, you implement the training loop. These are very fundamental, and all PyTorch training have these same steps. But people are stupid. They don't know how to structure or make their code readable. These same steps can actually look like a mess especially when dealing with more complex machine learning tasks. So PO goal is to help people better organize their code by following a standard structure. It also implements a bunch of boilerplates for you. These are the blue steps, such as initialization, logging, looping, uh, cleaning up. Now you only need to implement the code paths that you need to your task. Define the task, create a dataset, create a model, and define the training step. This is a basic structure where you create a PO model with also a PyTorch model, and then you override some method to customize. Once the model is defined, you can instantiate it and create a trainer. Then you call fit. The trainer will run the entire show for you, filling all the missing pieces. Here is how I implement the first example with PO. Now it looks much more readable and better organized. My mom will be very proud if she sees this. What else is cool about PO, you ask? Well, it offers a bunch of convenient utilities to make your life easier. It integrates with a bunch of popular locking mechanisms to add tensorball. It can be easily configured to work with multiple GPU, TPUs, or in distributed setting mode for power user. Uh, you can switch to setting bit precision training easily. It also has a built-in profiler and a bunch of other features. If you are thinking, wow, it is so great, you just fell into the trap. PO is for high performance AI research, and researchers are terrible engineers. I'm just quoting. Now, you cannot expect a fisherman to excel at, say, diving. It's difficult to master one, let alone two skills. Research is hard. Engineering is maybe harder. In fact, even engineers are also terrible at engineering. For example, look at the mess that it tends to blow up. I think PO is great if you are maybe a pure researcher or if you are a solid engineer with a good understanding of deep learning math libraries, or if you are a power user where a lot of pure features are very valuable, or if you are working on a big project with a team. So there's a bunch of good use cases for pure, but a lot of users are like students who are still learning, hobbyists, independent researcher, or maybe that applied researcher in an industry. You are need to be good at engineering. You need to structure your code well, and you need to be able to implement all the stuff that pure does for you. Using pure can make you lazy and rusty. So I would recommend using PO only as a reference until you become a solid engineer. Deep learning high-level APIs such as carriers, obfuscating, and hiding away the details of network and optimization designs isn't a good approach for research. And to their credit, the PO authors is aware and tries to avoid that. But PO committed an act that is so immoral, so blasphemous, that I have to condemn it right here and now. It drafts, it drafts my training loop. That's right, it's the same shit that we have seen countless times before. You need to understand, a self-respect cook will kill the chickens themselves. A samurai cleans his sauce himself. Training loop is a sacred place and this thing just come pieces all over it. No train and loop is the same. Every one of them is unique. In conclusion, if you prefer using PyTorch Lightning, then feel free to use it, whatever, who cares? I'm not your mom.